Once you have entered the space which you call as human, from here your evolution is no more natural, it has to be conscious. If you don't become conscious, there will not be any progress from here onwards. Monkeys can progress, man cannot progress. He can only progress consciously. Somewhere nature trusted your intelligence. Nature believed that with the intelligence that you have, anyway you will choose the higher, not the lower. But you've been trying to beat nature's trust, but it's not possible. Doesn't matter how many ways you indulge yourself, somewhere something longs for something bigger, isn't it? Yes? You fill yourself with wealth and filth and everything, but still the longing is not gone. So, when the longing becomes unbearable, you seek. When you seek, can't you seek that which is within yourself by yourself? You can, but it's an uncharted path. Because it's an uncharted path, if you go by yourself, you know what happened to Columbus? He wanted to come to India and landed up here. <laughs> it was an uncharted path, isn't it? Simply by accident he landed in this continent. We are only hearing about those who landed somewhere. Do you know how many never landed anywhere? Yes? Thousands of sailors who set forth never landed anywhere. If you go on an uncharted path without any guidance, this is what will happen. Now that Columbus landed here, just see how it easy it is from Europe to America. Why? Now it's a chartered path because of that man, isn't it? Similarly, you go to your guru because he landed. Now, using his experience is a good thing. Can't I do it by myself? You can, but we don't know how many lifetimes you will take by yourself. Not that it's impossible, you may just do it in a moment also, you know? You may just land up there, we don't know, but ninety-nine percent of the people will just get lost and washed away. That's why a guru has come. Guru is just a device, guru is not a person, this must be understood. Only when you begin to experience me as something more than a person, only then I am your guru, till then I am not. The Guru Purnima is significant because one thing is of a historical significance because this is the day Adiyogi turned himself into a guru after the summer solstice. This first full moon has a certain impact it is generally considered as a day of grace and that is the day the first guru chose to teach. So it's significant reminder for us, for every human being on the planet, because everybody lives in their own limitations of body, mind, social structures and strictures, all kinds of things. It is for every human being it's important to know that there is a way to be beyond these things. That's the reminder of the Guru Purnima. <laughs>